What is going on today, YouTube? Uh, today I thought I'd come back with a little video on five mistakes I made when buying my Porsche 944s, and I thought this would probably help those who are, who are looking into buying a 944 and what to avoid like I did. So, here goes. Now, number one mistake, it would have to be know what you're getting into, and uh, for the case of my black 86 944, when I bought it, the guy told me he replaced the motor in the windshield wipers. And if you can notice, it's stuck up there. Apparently, and I've semi-taken it apart and looked at it, he put it in backwards. I don't know how you put it in backwards, but instead of the wiping motion going this way, it now goes this way. So I've taken the, the passenger side off. But even worse is they don't work at all now. And I've changed all the fuses and, and uh, the relays and now it just 100% does not work. So I don't know if the wiring's messed up and I'm just having to troubleshoot it, but definitely know what you're getting involved in and especially something like that. It's pretty much now not a uh, rain car, so I have to use product on my windshield wiper if I'm going anywhere where it's uh, gonna rain and hopefully I'm at speeds. Now number two would definitely have to be know what are you actually buying and is it have any actual value. For those that saw my other video you know that I have this 83 944 that's crashed that I thought I was gonna use as a parts car. Well to be honest when I bought it the guy thought it was an 85 which either way still wouldn't be any use for it but still it's an 83 which when I got it I was like hey you know I can use the the steering rack the fuel tank uh, a lot of parts and then come to find out the steering rack is not the same steering rack that's in any of my cars which isn't a deal breaker because you know I still have like the back glass and the windshield and you know body panels but I don't have some of the uh, mechanical things like I looked at doing uh, a fuel tank swap on my other one and come to find out it's a different fuel tank too so definitely uh, know the value now I got this car unbelievably cheap and it already paid for itself when a, uh, a lady hit the back of my black uh, 944 and uh, lucky for me I had the, the rear bumper uh, shock and I just swapped it out which I got money for it so hey it's uh, it worked out and then you know you got these these windows and door handles and doors which they all add up so but definitely know know the value I you know I, I lucked out and bought this but if I just bought it for those parts like the steering rack I would have had myself a lemon and I just have a car sitting here so definitely know what you're getting involved in and sometimes you luck out number three mistake that I made is definitely something that is uh, coming back to me now that a year later Porsche people and original paint and in the case of the first one I bought back in Pennsylvania the 85 and a half 944 yeah uh, mistake that I made is you know I knew a lot about the colors I didn't know about a hundred percent now when I got this I saw in the back that there was a uh, they painted over the back uh, of the Porsche logos, and I thought, you know, oh, that's, you know, he just, well, come to find out, it's not the exact shade. When he painted it, it's like one, one tick off of being the correct, so he did like an aftermarket instead of the original paint, which, you know, to me, when I bought it, I just wanted an I-44. I didn't think I'd be reselling it later, but... Porsche people when you're selling it to them or like collectors they 100% want original stuff so knowing exactly uh, what color is it supposed to be and shade is uh, very very important and another thing is you know I think that the black rims when they 
painted them look good, but that is a no-no for any uh, collector. And uh, they will let you know that 100% right when you uh, show it to them, why are those rims black? So uh, definitely know the, uh, know the exact value of uh, the collectability of your car, and especially color-wise, because it definitely uh, adds problems. Uh, now the fourth mistake I made is definitely again once on the, uh, the black 86 944 that I bought and that is uh, knowing exactly what problem you are occurring and when I bought all these uh, Porsches a year ago and fell on I you know I got these as a learning experience I wanted to learn more about cars and uh, how to work on them and if you're buying any classic ish car you're gonna be working on it and uh, I had a lot of problems with this one uh, in the past five months is I would be just driving and then all of a sudden everything would turn off and I just stop and uh, I couldn't figure out for a while I knew fuel wise something wasn't working and I was like well maybe it's my fuel pump maybe I'm flooding the engine somehow you know and then months of me just trying to troubleshoot it I let it sit at my uh, girlfriend at the time's house and I was just every day after uh, I went to work and then I went to see her, I would go like spend 15 minutes just look at it, try and get it started and stay because it wouldn't stay start. It would die after like 15 seconds of getting it cranked. And then one day I'm just over there and it cranks. I take it to my house because I'm like, oh, I got to get this, you know, to my house. And then all of a sudden I look at it and I'm like, wait a minute. None of my vacuum lines are um, screwed on and they're all like semi off where they're supposed to be so I look at it and every single one of them is loose so that means I was driving around for months with all my vacuum lines loose and come to find out that was a problem wasn't even having anything to do with my fuel pump or fuel sending unit and I was just an idiot and didn't know what I was doing so definitely Ask people for advice if you need it or you know pay to take it to a shop I didn't feel like paying for it you know I had other cars to drive but uh, yeah that was uh, definitely make sure you know what you're doing mechanically wise and you know forms and make sure you know what parts go wrong so yeah definitely big mistake on my part that won't happen again and uh, and finally last would definitely have to be don't don't overstep your mechanical uh, limitations and knowledge and uh, when the same time that I bought the uh, the parts, the 83 parts car, I bought this uh, 86 that uh, it was like a two for one special that I got, which I got at a great price and it's already worked out. But uh, he said it ran and it just, you know, it hadn't started in a while, it doesn't have a battery, you know, fuel, it's been sitting for a while. So I was like, hey, you know what? I got some Hondas working before that were sitting, you know, maybe I'll try try a German car and uh, well, so far I haven't gotten it cranked 100% running. I uh, come to find out that the uh, fuel line, there was a giant hole in it, uh, so I had to replace that uh, a lot. The electrical, um, it had a uh, starter switch on it because the ignition went out kind of on it uh, so they had a push button start switch on it which fried and then so I had to replace that and then now uh, something either the alternator isn't wanting to work or I need to change the spark plugs again and uh, now I'm just kind of troubleshooting uh, slowly but surely I, it is coming together but you know my uh, mechanical limitations are definitely starting to show. So definitely don't overstep your limitations or exceed your expectations. Because now, right, I just have a car that I'm trying to get started and it's been a couple of months longer than I thought it would be because I thought I could get it cranked right when I got it. But that, uh, that was not the case. But yeah, that's my uh, five mistakes I made by buying a Porsche 944 and I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe it'll help you out before you buy a uh, 944 for yourself and just make sure you do your research and know what you're capable of doing and if you're getting a good deal or not because the uh, Porsche family is definitely a little a little uptight about 
you know, originality. But, you know, they're fun cars and they're great to drive and I hope you guys enjoy. 